Just made it to Israel. We're at the Ben Gurion Airport. Check it out. About to get luggage, so see you guys in a bit. Well, good morning. I am in Tel Aviv right now, and it's about seven o'clock in the morning. They just had a holiday uh, Shavuot, which is traditionally the uh, celebration of the passing of the Torah from God to the Israelites. But uh, we're gonna go check out the scene. Check it out. All right, let's go. Seth, so I'm in the, uh, by the ocean right now. I'm here in, uh, in Tel Aviv, right by the beach. It's freaking beautiful, man. It's on a free, on a Monday morning. Outstanding. So I came here to my first day here in Israel and there's these cards along the street. Mystery, hotel, hostel, uh, hotel. Most beautiful girls waiting for you. Sounds like a good time. Ruski restaurant, Russian restaurant. I'm gonna have to come here later on. Downtown Tel Aviv. A lot of Russian uh, businesses here. I don't understand why. Hablamos Espanol. I never thought I'd see this sign ever outside of the United States, but it's a tourist business and uh, well, I'm glad they speak Spanish. Look, it's the embassy of the United States of America. I feel like I'm already home. Not. So I'm here by the beach, chilling. You know, Mexicans in Israel checking it out it's a beautiful day here supposedly it's gonna be the hottest day of the year on Wednesday fuck me because I wasn't prepared oh well you know beautiful hotels let's go check out the ocean front looks pretty nice man golly love this place already palm trees this is the Middle East baby vamonos mijo shit we got a Mexican restaurant here check it out that's like an Aztec-like figure here, so let's see and look at the menu. They got enchiladas, they got freaking fajitas, they got barbacoa, margaritas. Man, I'm gonna have to try this place, see, see how good it is, you know? But they got the fresh delivery ingredients. You know what, man, I never thought I'd see this, but I guess Mexican food is like a, a global phenomenon. Well, you know, hey, Taste buds can't lie, so we're, we'll check this out later. Here at Mexicana in Tel Aviv, having a Corona Provecho. So I'm here at the Mexican restaurant. Got a little margarita here to take down. Here's the menu. This thing's going down. Let's see what's up. This is the Mexicana restaurant here in Tel Aviv. This is the real deal, guys. These guys went to uh, study their food. They went to Mexico, and uh, it's just awesome. Oh my God, Dios mío, look at this. I got some fajitas here, arroz con frijoles, that's our uh, rice and beans, and Dios mío, this is outstanding, I like it. And there's more salsa. Salsa blanca, the corn tortillas, oh my God. and a plate, and I'll get you some spicy sauce as well, okay? Thank you. Oh my God, Dios mio. Man, that food was delicious, but I'm just a pussy when it comes to volumes of food. I can't hold my food down anymore. It wasn't even a lot of food, and I'm, I'm feeling real full, so just had food here at Mexicana, and I gotta say, the, they did the food right, so I'm gonna go take a little nap, and uh, let's see what else we got going on, so... I'll talk to you guys soon. Having a nice breakfast this morning. I got my, uh, you know, cafe con leche, which means, uh, you know, coffee and vanilla. Got a little two pastries here. One has, like, uh, some kind of feeling and stuff. Looks pretty tasty, and uh, see how it is, okay? So right here, we're still in Tel Aviv. We're in Ben Yehuda Street. Okay, so we'll check it out. Bon appetit. Vamos, mijo. So check this out, man. I'm trying to uh, charge up my phone. Okay, this is what we are used to here in, in the United States. But look, 
that shit ain't gonna work, okay, here in Israel. But we have the solution. You see that? Here goes there. And then this part down here connects to my phone. And now we have a charge. You see, lights on. Look at that. That's the outlet, electrical outlet in, in Israel. What do you know, huh? This is uh, Coach Cano, Caps Cave Strength, AKA Mexican Muscle, Mexicans in Israel. We're gonna go enter the market here in Tel Aviv. Bunch of like souvenirs, food. Let's go check it out. Vámonos. Okay, let's go check it out. This big, beautiful hotel here in Tel Aviv. Huge, man. It's called the David Intercontinental. And uh, it's right by the beach. But there's this mosque ahead. It looks like a mosque. And uh, let's go take a quick look. How's it going, everybody? Caps Cave Strength Coach Kano, Mexican in Israel, AKA Mexican Muscle. Right behind me is, uh, it looks like to be a really beautiful mosque here in Israel, here in Tel Aviv. So I want to take a quick closer look, but it's absolutely gorgeous out here. So let's go uh, see the surrounding building. Really beautiful architecture, Muslim style. This is gorgeous, this mosque. Not sure what the name of the mosque is, but I'm just blown away. It's just it's gorgeous. We're here in Jaffa, which is just south of Tel Aviv, port city, and uh, we're gonna go on a little tour. So you can already see the old architecture here in the town. It's beautiful. It kind of reminds me of um, certain areas of California. I, I hate to make that comparison, but just weather-wise, though, just weather-wise. Let's go and see. Bienvenidos.
This place serves the best hummus I've ever had in my life. My friend here, Tom, says that, you know, this is this is in the morning, like 8 a.m., but at lunchtime, you can't, you have to wait for like an hour. Yes. And the line just goes way out there just to be served here. It's the Mahabsa uh, hummus. I've never had it in my life. It was unbelievable. We're entering the city walls, uh, the old city of Jaffa, which is one of the oldest cities in uh, all of Israel. So let's go inside and see what we're going to see in this old city. The old city of Jaffa is uh, dates back, predates uh, biblical times. I mean, it is really, really, really old here. So we're going to explore deeper into the old city. But as you can see, it's just quite old here. So let's go take a quicker look. I'm pretty sure that you needed to go and get some money, some local money. Well, it's the very worst place in the whole world to change money. So when you enter a new city and new place, you've got to get... It's a Muslim mosque here, so we're going to go take a quick look into the history here in Jaffa. Actually, all you have to do is you go to any Roman site, move all the old rocks and sand out of the way, bam, 2,000 year old marble. This fountain here was created to uh, provide water to incoming uh, tourists in uh, ancient times here in Jaffa. Um, all the marble that you see in the fountain was stolen from uh, Roman architecture and that's uh, according to our tour guide. The water is so clear. It's beautiful. Welcome to the old city of Jaffa. Going inside. These are the port walls. It's the ocean. But we, we are going inward. See you inside. This structure that you see building uh, used to be the prison that the famous Nazi uh, Adolf Eichmann was shown in the world in a show trial uh, and now uh, it's turning it into a boutique mall but it does have an infamous history for housing and imprisoning the Nazi, the Nazi Adolf Eichmann who was executed by Israel, the only known person to be executed by the Israeli state. Just some interesting facts. What's going on everybody? Coach Connell here from Caps Cave Strength, aka Mexican Muscle. Mexicans in Israel. Third day today, we're going to Jerusalem, Bethlehem. So let's go. Uh, first day we were in Tel Aviv. Second day we were in Jaffa. We still have uh, more on this trip. So let's go take a look. So it's my third day today and I hardly got any sleep every single day on this trip. 
I've only been getting like two, three hours sleep and then nap in the daytime. But I'm not tired. This never happens. Usually I get my six, eight hours of sleep. And when I sleep for two, three hours, which never happens, um, I'm, I'm feeling it during the day. I'm like so tired. On this trip though, I'm not even tired at all. It must be the magic and power of Israel. You guys gotta be here. I'm outside the hotel right now. I'm waiting for my bus so that we can take off to Jerusalem and Bethlehem and receive some of that Jesus juice and Holy Ghost smoke. So I'm just out here waiting. Uh, we'll see what happens and we'll see you then. Welcome to Jerusalem. Okay, this is. You want this? This wall here was built by the Crusaders. The one this, that slopes. The church over there was built by William Kaiser II. Kaiser William II. Wilhelm II, I'm sorry. And this is the Jaffa Gate. Jaffa Gate. permission to stay here and they you see for example here we have two synagogues the synagogues were very small this is the center of the city Roman influence and Arabic Jewish Christian coming together we will now proceed further into the city. We are now inside. That is the Wailing Wall, and we will go down there very shortly. city of Jerusalem we're entering and let's go find out small pieces what will I do with this <laughs> lunch mm. no lunch no mm. satar and bagel I take a small piece and you have to share to finish it <laughs> The soup soup is sweet. Yeah, mm. yeah. You know this sesame from this we do also the tahini. Yeah. Mm. And the halva. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. Mm. 
Hotel, church, restaurant, and so on. And so you can eat in the middle of the. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre, the burial and tomb of our Lord Jesus Christ. on the supposed burial site of Jesus Christ. These columns and this architecture was built by the Crusaders back in the, uh, I believe it's the about 1099, 1100 AD, so it brings back all the way to Crusader history. We're looking at the uh, city of Jerusalem from the uh, southern part. You can see the Dome of the Rock there, the synagogue. Right there is the uh, foundation, the wall, the western wall, Wailing Wall where the uh, last remains of the, uh, what is it, the, the Temple of Solomon was built. Church of the Nativity, the birthplace of Jesus Christ, we are entering. This is the Catholic side of the Church of the Nativity. It's very beautiful. Crusader period architecture on the Catholic side of the Church of the Nativity. Amazing. Fresh made falafel sandwich here in Tel Aviv. You see the bustling crowd here. I'm going to dig into this. Fresh made tahini, hummus, salad, spicy. Has little chips there. So, all right, this is uh, street food here in uh, Tel Aviv. 